And now we've got to allow the people of Keroka to do business uninterrupted. And uh, in the judgment, I allowed you, gentlemen, the two of you, with your able counsel and officers, to look at the service agreement, service delivery agreement that had been done. Was it uh, Mr. Bonuke on which in which year? 2013 or 2015? 2014. To see whether it's still workable so that you can provide the services to the two sides of Keroka jointly, because that's allowed in law. The only thing that is not allowed, fortunately or unfortunately, is a joint collection of revenue. The people from Kisi side of Keroka cannot collect revenue on the Nyamira side, and vice versa. So each one has got to limit himself to his, uh, uh, to his lane. Uh, Your Excellency, I have no problem with you providing umbrellas with your portrait <laughs> and your party logo. I wish you could also extend that to other counties like Muranga, <laughs> Tana River, and the rest. But you have a right to do so. But if they would cause some breach of peace, if they could cause some breach of peace, we can, uh, we can temporarily shelf the idea. They are good because those people did not have umbrellas. Those traders did not have uh, those big umbrellas uh, to put uh, their wares under. And they did a good thing. And I want uh, the traders there not to see the umbrellas as a sign of incitement. Just use the umbrellas. Don't even look at the portrait that is there. He's a handsome man, but uh, <laughs> forget about it. Am I right, uh, Miss Bundy and Miss Moeche? <laughs> this man is uh, and he's smart. So, so if if it were to cause any breach of peace, we could uh, suspect uh, that for the time being, or just uh, provide umbrellas that do not have logos and uh, portraits. That's one thing we need to do. Then when it comes to the collection of revenue, uh, let's allow the officers from each side stick to their legs.